Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I'm not sharing any presentation with you um, because, I mean, I just want to go ahead and we have a very limited time here, like seven minutes to go ahead with. So um, I'll just take you through how Jinko is and how we are placed up in a uh, global scenario. With a global number one tag with us with um, 6.7 gigawatt of uh, facility uh, we have. Uh, we are um, uh, we have already done some 22 gigawatts across the world and in India we have already supplied around 800 megawatts this year. Looking at uh, rooftop, especially at rooftop uh, scenario in India, we have decided to come up with a legal identity in India and now we are very much there as Jinko Trading Company India with a fantastic team of around 20 people with all post sales and pre sales support which generally we don't use to see from any of the international customers. Uh, uh, sorry, international suppliers. So we have that in presence. So whatever we have, uh, we are trying to support up with. Generally what happens is when we supply modules, there were many uh, questions and there were many complaints coming up that okay, when we have some issues coming up with the modules or any of the modules, the support time is very large. I mean, like it takes sometime one month, one and a half, two months. So to reduce that, we have these kind of teams set up with us. So uh, for, roof, uh, for rooftop plants in India, we already came up with go-downs. So it is not like we are sh uh, shipping directly through China and it will take one and a half month or two months to reach and uh, close all everything. So we have our go-downs. We have one in Delhi, a second upcoming in uh, Mumbai. Third one we are planning in Bangalore. So we are uh, increasing our footprints in India. Opening up offices, one we have in Delhi now. It's a full-fledged office with legal staff your um, uh, uh, entire technical team sales team we have one in mumbai another one in uh, another one coming up in bangalore so here uh, let's talk about the products we are offering in rooftop uh, so in rooftop segment uh, we came up with some advanced product like half cut sales and smart modules which will uh, which we will be introducing within one month's time in india with half cut cell modules you will be getting at least 10 watt peak more than a normal module within a 72 cell size which we are talking with the same weight, same size, if you're getting 10 watt peak more with a half cut technology, that will create a difference uh, when you uh, go for a rooftop. And with smart module, these are a, a unique kind of modules we are promoting and it's, uh, it's having an MPPT control on string level. So what will happen if you have a shadow effect coming up? So uh, what we have seen, if there is a shadow on a module, like uh, if there is a shadow on three or four cell, it will kill the entire string. So now with these modules, the uh, three or four cell will be isolated automatically. You will not have uh, the hotspot on the module and your rest of the module will work. So this will give you a, a given advanced uh, level of installation uh, which you can do in the rooftop segment when there, where there is a shadow effect. There are many good places which we are leaving. Even I come from a background of EPC. I have uh, seen many uh, places which is fantastic roof. We have a lot of roof available but there is a small shadow effect because of which we are not able to cover the entire lot. With this kind of setups, we can definitely kill those areas and go up with installation and try to figure out what best we can do on these kind of roofs. Uh, being uh, uh, the biggest supplier from China, the one, uh, one big question always comes in picture. How do you see anti-dumping coming in? <laughs> Everyone will be asking that. So, I mean, anti-dumping is very much on the table. We are listening to it. But yes, um, I mean, including all uh, partners across the India, all developers around with us, we are trying to uh, see how we can work on, on that. And there is another big issue which came in, was a custom duty of 7.5%, which we all are facing right now. It's, it's a killing factor in the industry because there are a lot many uh, containers which I have seen were lying on the ports and all. So for this, I just want to give an update. There is already a petition which had been filed and I hope uh, within next month's time, this will be over. So we'll be coming out of this uh, big issue in India. So, I mean, that's all from my side. I'm not taking much of time here. Thank you. Just let me know if there is any question on rooftop side or any question on technology side. Thank you so much.